I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Fisker Ocean. It is an electric SUV. It is owned by a guy named Heinrich Fisker, hence the name Fisker. He has done vehicles before. We'll talk about that in the drive portion, but this is a brand new company that started delivering vehicles in 2023. Now, this vehicle is called the Ocean because it's designed after the plastics that are collected from the ocean and used in this vehicle, especially in the interior, so it's environmentally friendly, it's giving back to people, and they've really thought about a lot of really unique features in this car. This is a designer's dream. If you like a vehicle that no one else has and some of the coolest features that nobody else has then you need to take the Fisker Ocean for a test drive. Let's start off with this paint. This is a flat or a matte colored paint. It is one of the options of the colors. You can get bright colors. We saw a bright blue one as well. Really nicely designed color palette. Also, these LED lights are really nice, signature lighting, and it has a proximity key, so when you get close to it, it'll light up to greet you. Also, that Fisker logo is here. It's the same Fisker logo he has used in the past because that's his last name, so he gets to use that. There are three trim levels available, the Sport, the Ultra, or the Extreme, and there's also a Force E off-road package, which includes 33-inch tires, upgraded suspension, optimized battery, and some very cool bodywork, which makes it really muscular looking. The Ultra trim, which is the mid-range trim, comes as all-wheel drive powertrain. It's the most desirable standard package, and it looks like it's the best value based on what they have available. Now, going with this model also increases your range from 250 miles on the base trim to 340 miles and adds some really nice features like the power operating panoramic roof, which you can use in that California mode. It offers the hyperdrive mode, which gives you that super fast power and the brand's much promoted solar panel roof, which I think is really nice. And by the way, when you hit that California package, everything goes down. You can do it on the key fob. You can also do it inside the vehicle. All the windows go down, including the third row area window, which is behind the C-pillar and the rear glass and the sunroof or the panoramic roof opens, giving you that full outdoor California experience. 20 inch alloy wheels are standard. Our test vehicle is the top trim level, so it rides on 22 inch alloy wheels. And I do like this carbon look that's in here. It actually feels like carbon fiber and the all season tires makes this huge tire make this vehicle look much more muscular than you would expect. I also like the fact that they've got the darker arches around the wheel wells, really nicely done. And the charge port is right here integrated nice and clean. The warranty on this vehicle is six years, 60,000 miles, and that electric powertrain is 10 years, 100,000 miles, and there is no basic maintenance included. Coming around to the back, this upper wing, you can't really see it, but it has the word Fisker across the top, integrated third brake light. Your cameras are here. I love these LED taillights. Again, designer details that you wouldn't think. It's like you told a car designer, make what you like and they did that. Just really nice design. Fisker logo here, Ocean here, so you know, and one is, means it's a first edition. They really thought about all the details, keeping it nice and clean, yet still making it a designer piece with these cool matte colors. I really like the look of this vehicle. And the handles go flush when you lock the door. This is the California mode. It's kind of neat. This car was built in California, and this middle button, when you push it, the windows go down, all the windows, including that third window. The solar panel pulls back and it becomes just like a convertible, much like a Jeep. Everything goes down, all the windows, including that third quarter window and the rear glass. All glass is retracted and look at that. Press that button once, all the windows go back up. The glass then retracts quite quickly. And that is your solar panel that will help save you a little bit on battery, which makes you more self-sustainable if that's what your goal is. Really nicely designed, very, very cool. And that overhead console couldn't be any cleaner. The seats inside the Fisker Ocean are very unique. They are made of plastic from the ocean and have very nice textured material. There's not a lot of support, but they are very neat looking, no lumbar support, but there is all this power seating and additional storage in front, giving it an additional glove box on this side as well as on the other side. Very nicely done as far as storage, tons of storage. 
The passenger seat is the same as the driver's seat, but the second row has some unique features. Besides the fact that they are reclining, there is a button here. There are two child safety seat mounts here as well. And that center armrest comes down to showcase for two cup holders. And this center screen shows you some of the features you can have. They call it limousine. We don't have the screen working here on this vehicle, but it is available and it's part this is a pre-production car so it's really nice it's really clean the seats do fold down 40 20 40 and seats three people across the back on the back of the center console you've got more ventilation usb-c charging that goes up and down there is no storage back here but there is hooks designed on the back of both driver and passenger seating right here nice place to hang bags or you can use the bag fix, which we sell on our website, thebagfix.com. If you're thinking about something to hang on the back of your headrest, because there are no headrests, they're fully integrated in this vehicle. And the design of that is also quite nice. The designers that did this vehicle really had a wonderful time because it created some really unique angles and and some nice details that you don't see in most vehicles. When it comes to visibility, there is a crystal clear backup camera and it allows you to take different pictures. This is the same people that designed Grand Theft Auto. So you can see the different camera shots. It allows you to pick the different angles you want. Really nicely designed, nice and crystal clear, which is important. The rear view mirror is also a camera, which is nice. You can see what's going on behind you. Again, you have those options available to you depending upon which you prefer. There is a standard suite of safety features which include front collision mitigation, which you can turn on or off, lane departure warning and lane keep assist, blind spot detection, driver warning on or off, and driver opening and traffic light assist, which is nice because it's right here in the center. There are also driver assistance features right here. This is the Phi Pilot. It is not an autopilot, even though there's no such thing as self-driving. This is as close as you're gonna get. It's a level two autonomous features. And a lot of the other vehicle settings and so forth are in here, which is really nice to have. The interior is very thoughtful and designed by a designer without any question. Let me show you some of the cool features. We're used to this vertical screen. Press this button right here. Watch what happens. The screen turns horizontal you now have the ability to see some of these things, but in reality, you can't do everything that you think you can do. You can't drive with it this way, but it does allow you to have YouTube, Apple TV, Disney Plus, Pluto, Hulu, Prime Video. While you're charging, you can watch all this. Now again, you can only do this in the horizontal mode. And in addition to that, this only works when the vehicle is parked. Otherwise, hold that button down, it pulls back again. It's kind of a neat little feature. It's a little slow, but so far this is really, really cool. This is your navigation. It's pretty large. It's nothing unusual, nothing special, but it is cool. Audio system, there is radio, but it's only FM. There is no satellite radio, so that's important to note. That you would use instead the Bluetooth, your iHeart, your Spotify, or your TuneIn. There is no AM radio at this point. So that's important, that has to be added back in. This is an ELS Studio 3D system, and the screen is 17.1 inches in display. So every model comes standard with this center screen as well as the backup camera, and the sport trim has fixed glass and panoramic sunroof. Also, the rest of the lineup has the panoramic glass roof that's retractable, that is solar. It's important to note that at this time, there is no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but there is Bluetooth and that's coming in the near future. Here's your charging information right here. Tells you everything you need to know, your range, your information. It is 400 volt architecture, like we talked about as far as powertrain. And this is your climate control, which is really easy to use. The ones that are more popular, your temperature, your fan, defrost and so forth, volume are right here. One of the smartest things this has, one of the, especially at this price point, is two wireless charging key spots. Really, really important. There is also storage in front here. There is storage underneath here, which is fantastic. Two cup holders, and then this is a spot for the key. Now I have to show you some of the coolest features that are on this car. Open this up, and this is called the taco tray. 
so you can use it as an armrest. You can rest your arm here. You can put your lunch here. I don't recommend doing that. I'm surprised you can actually do this while driving because in my eyes, it's a distraction. You know, people are, they'll use anything as a distraction. I find it very cool, but I'm a little concerned as far as people using it for the wrong things. Now, as far as materials, nice and soft, really nicely done. Push this right here and you have another tray. Really smart use of design. And then there's also the glove box here. There's storage in the doors. Everything is clean. Everything is simplistic and very modern. Much like the seats, the materials are all recycled plastics from the ocean, which is why this is called the Fisker Ocean. Another cool feature is the visor. It's not just any visor, it unfolds. So it allows you to adjust this as you wish. It has a little spot here for a mirror. Not much of a mirror, but it's a mirror. It's lit though. It's a lit mirror. But this is cool, good design. Just really cool features. That is the spot that, see, see the lights flashing? It's monitoring your eyes. It knows, it, it's watching you. It's probably listening as well. And this is part of that 2026 kill switch. I covered that in my uh, YouTube channel. You can check that out. It's also all over the news. On the left side, you've got your usual controls. How do you start this car? You take this key and you put it next to the NFC right there. And when you do, the screen becomes available. It says, hey, yep, you're ready to go whenever we're ready to go. All the settings are here. If you want to adjust your steering wheel, that is in here in settings. You would then go to general. You would go to adjust steering wheel. And when you do that, you can then use this button to pull it in or out or up or down. This side would be your safety features as well as your drive modes. When you press this, the different drive modes are hyper, earth, which is your eco, fun, which is your normal, and hyper, which is your sport. Love the colors, love the words, very nicely done, really easy to use. And it's not much information here, but it's everything that you actually need. Also note there is a flat bottom steering wheel, which makes it easier to get in and out. Nice grippy steering wheel, nicely designed. This is not leather. All of this is plastics that have been recycled, so they really thought about the usage side of this. When it comes to the powertrain, the Sport model, which features a single electric motor powered by front wheels with 275 horsepower on tap, is expected to go from 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. The Sport model, which is the entry-level model, features a single electric motor powered by the front wheels, so it's front-wheel drive, 275 horsepower and 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. The other two trim levels, the Ultra and the Extreme, as well as the Force E off-road package, is an all-wheel drive system with the quickest version estimated to go 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds with peak horsepower of 564 and 543 pound-feet of torque. Now that deploys at 564 only in the boost mode. Now there are different size battery packs, the largest being a 106 kilowatt hour pack delivered an estimated range of 360 miles. The 400 volt architecture supports DC fast charging so you can go as fast as 10 to 80 percent in 35 minutes. The Ocean Extreme earns a 92 mile per gallon E combined, that's 99 in the city and 84 on the highway, but all models are fitted with the 20 inch wheels that are low rolling resistant tires or you can get the optional performance 22 inch wheels. The front wheel drive Ocean, the entry level, can tow up to 2,040 pounds while the all wheel drive models can pull 4,000 pounds. Okay, we're inside the Fisker Ocean. Now, I've been waiting to drive this car because it was designed by Heinrich Fisker and I drove the original Fisker ages ago. I think it's still on my channel. But at that point, there was a solar sunroof. And guess what? There's an improved solar sunroof on this car. But this vehicle overall is really cool looking and it is definitely designed by a designer. Just some of the details that we showed you inside really make this vehicle quite different than other electric cars, whether you're talking about a Tesla or literally anything else on the, on the market with Rivian and Lucid, all are really cool cars. This has some quite unique features, starting with just looking at the screen. I'm on the brakes, there it is, I'm off the brakes. It's, it shows right there. The people that did video game design for Grand Theft Auto, 
they're the same people that designed all the software that's here. And this vehicle is running for uh, World Car of the Year. And I've been waiting to drive it because it's had a few upgrades and some iterations along the way. And I think that's really important because as people improve vehicles, you know, you want to make sure that you get all the most current stuff. And especially when it's a startup like this, you want to make sure that they are um, improving the vehicle as they go along and they are definitely doing that. And Heinrich Fisker is really about cars. He comes from the auto industry and he's very much a car guy. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised he's not here with us. I've met him quite a few times. But let's talk about the car's driving dynamics. It feels very tight in this drive mode. You can set the regen from low, medium, and high. I'm going to go down to low on this and medium. You can feel the difference right away, obviously, because it's less regenerative brakes. If you want to help the battery along, you get your solar panel on the roof, as well as the regen brakes that so will go back to the medium. Now, there are different drive modes as well. Again, you pick the one that works for you. There's a general setting here. You've got your driving settings, all your different settings. This is a very different car than some of the vehicles you might have driven. So if you're thinking about an electric car, you can get your hands on a Fisker. You want to do that and drive it, take it for a test drive. You order it online. You can order it in the 48 states. It's not available in Alaska and in Hawaii yet. Uh, it's just getting into Canada and eventually it will be a global car. But again, everything takes time. And that's the one thing when you're starting a new car company, it takes time not just to build the product, but also to get that product right and to get that product to markets. And it's challenging when you don't have a dealer network, unlike you know Ford GM where they just take new product and send it off to the dealers. There's a lot of unique features that we showed you in technology. When you put them into play, especially the safety features, if you find them too invasive, you can turn them down or shut them off. Certain ones that might interfere with your driving style, how you like it to be. It is watching the driver. It has its eyes on you. Now, it's not doing breathalyzer tests, but they're already well aware of the fact that this is kind of the technology that's coming out and they're trying to get ahead of this. And I think that's really smart. Zero to 60, not in the boost mode, is 6.9 seconds. It drops down to 3.7 seconds in the boost mode, which is pretty fast. And that's something you need to think about when you are uh, driving a vehicle like this. You know, do you use the boost mode? Yeah, every once in a while to show people. But the truth is most people are not going to use that mode on a regular basis. And it uses up a lot of battery power, just like a gasoline powered vehicle where you put your foot in it a lot. Sure, it's, if you're heavy lead footed, then you're gonna use up more gasoline. Same type of thing, same type of mindset. If you can't see a traffic light up ahead though, I do like the fact that this traffic sign recognition is right here in front. All your information is on one screen and there's a screen in front of you. Some electric vehicles only have the center screen. We're starting to see that a lot, like the Volvo uh, EX30 does not have a screen in front of you. I like the fact that they've put that screen in front of you to remind you. The Volkswagen ID4, the ID7, that has it in front of you as well. So they're really thinking about who's using it and that technology. When it comes to cargo space, there is 32 cubic feet of storage back here, full down that 40, 20, 40 split seats, and you have even more storage. And there's a cargo cover as well. Underneath this cover is more hidden storage and a tire inflation product. The pricing on the 2024 Fisker Ocean starts at $38,000 for your entry level and goes all the way up to a maximum of $61,000. Our test vehicle had the special paint color and few additional options that came in at $71,000, including destination delivery. Now, there are some competitors in this category. You've got the GV60 and the GV70 from Genesis that are both electrified. You've got the Hyundai Kona, the Volvo EX30, and a bunch of others. We'll put that down in the description below, plus links to the reviews that we have done. Of course, this also competes with Tesla and the Model Y. Now, there are some pros and cons. On the pros side, I love the design features, the little details that they thought about, the usage of tables, and the usage of some of the features that are in this car. I'm pretty impressed impressed with the use of the interior materials, which are plastics from the ocean, and a lot of the recycled materials that are on this car, the design and the packaging is excellent, really well done. On the negative side, the only thing I thought was I wish there was a little bit more storage for items, and the processor in the center screen is just a little slow. That can be updated easily through software, but overall, this vehicle is a lot of fun to drive. So if you're thinking about an electric vehicle, 
Make sure to check out that Fisker Ocean. You can check it out online, order one, get it delivered. It's certainly an option to consider. If you have additional questions, put it in the comments down below and I'm more than happy to answer them. If you get value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to check out our other channel, Car-Smarts on YouTube. We also have social media that's Car Smarts as well. All that'll be in the description. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description as well. We appreciate your time and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.